good technique, he will be elite. If his technique becomes great, not just good, then he's a Hall of Famer. Fighting through contact, fighting through the offensive line, being a double team, multiple moves stacked into one, just a play of pure domination. This is actual film, it's actual football talk. It's a football show, so it's about football, not storylines. I think a healthy Croft, which has obviously been a huge problem throughout his career. He's, he's missed many games. Um, I have more faith in him in all aspects of the game than Chris Herndon, um, which isn't saying much, but people will automatically assume that Chris Herndon's going to be getting, you know, the starting gig. Um, you know, we talk a lot about the Jets personnel and how they have probably run more 11 than 12. Like with the Niners, they'll be more towards that Packers type of team. Um, but with Croft in, in 11, now you have a good blocker. And then if they decide to go heavy and put um, Fant out there in heavy sets, and now you have Fant and Croft next to each other or on the opposite side of the line, you're trying to run the ball, uh, that's pretty good. So I think the Jets will be a, a heavy si uh, six um, offensive line team, you know, uh, play action, whatever it may be. I think they might sacrifice, you know, a, a receiver out there and run Fant on all these play actions and things like that. Because, listen, you have Fant come in. We have some good blocking offensive linemen now. You have Fant next to Beckton or, or Fant next to Moses or however it's going to work out. We're all assuming that Moses is going to be the tackle. Um, and you could obviously – you should be able to run the ball pretty well. What does that lead to? Heavier personnel, stacked boxes, play action getting sold. <clears throat> and now you could have, you know, three receivers out there, let's say. Let's say it's, let's say it's just, you know, whatever. Um, well, I guess if, it's a, if it was 11, you'd really kind of cancel one of those guys. It could be like one personnel um, with either a tight end or a running back. Let's say, let's say it's a running back. Um, and then you have three receivers out there. You can have Elijah, Elijah Moore, Mims, and Davis, or Crowder, or Cole, whoever. Like, it's going to be pretty fun to watch, um, obviously. Um, we'll talk about Moses as it comes down the road. But uh, he is right here. Um, first thing I noticed, and this is one of the first games I watched, um, and his releases aren't great. Like, he's not the best route runner, but he's not a dud as a route runner. Um, I don't want people to think that he's just a blocker. He actually has some decent speed. And he actually has some decent releases and some route um, like technical capabilities. Uh, so we're going to watch him right in the slot right there um, and use some of his hands in a route. Again, not the in terms of where he ends up on this route, you know, um, the <clears throat> corner or the safety gets on his inside hip and he's breaking inside on the stop. So it doesn't end ideally. Um, but in terms of the really, in terms of the release, him wanting to get outside lever or inside leverage on this guy to run an inside route, um, one step stretch right there, get inside, double swipe, punch through to clear that arm, get your, get your shoulders in front of him. So if he does punch now, now he's on the back of you, not in the front of you. So good punch through. And again, runs a curl into a guy who's, who's beneath him. So it's not like ideal. Um, if anything, you probably want this guy to stay over top and get physical on top of the route and stuff. But in terms of just that release, pretty good. You know, like I just don't want people to think he just, he's just, a, you know, um, just a blocker, which is not true. Uh, Croft block. All, some of this is going to be blocking, obviously. Um, he's a fullback right here. Not the H back. You know, some people might refer to him as, as the H back. That's more of an alignment for me. Um, versus like if it's a, if it's a, you know, tight end playing fullback. Some people say a little H back. I, I just leave it. He's playing fullback right here. So, and all she's all she's doing is 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 uh, trying to seal that that edge to the backside hinging, and you know, in terms of the the technique. And again, we're not going to go crazy. He's not. You know, we're not evaluating Morgan Moses here. We're not evaluating, you know, Fant or or you know Becton or whoever it may be. Um, you know, the hands coming wide like that, you don't necessarily love it, especially, especially with an inside run, um, because you don't want to get blown up into the backfield. You know, if this was a, you know, let's say if he's a, is he, if he's a sifter, he's working against the formation and it's like a mid zone outside zone, which you don't typically see sifters with like a lot of outside zones, unless, you know, maybe you're playing a team who likes to over pursue and you're expecting a cutback, then maybe you do it. Um, but you'd obviously like to see, you know, better hand placement, but overall still gets slow, you know, wide base that he, that he initially was driving off of his insteps hands on and uh 
you were to see him reset his hands, which I really like. He gets, starts getting worked back, resets his hands, powerful position, gets into his his bridge, as we call it. You're not really gonna you're not really gonna try to uh, to work your feet back. Now you're just gonna try to hold up, and you're gonna bend against those insteps. That's what they call it. Like, it looks like a bridge. Um, so good block. You know, defensive end. He 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 seals him to the backside. The easiest thing to do. No. Um, I would say some you could do some things better there, but for tight end, it's a good block, that's for sure. Uh Croft two blocks. Oh, two blocks in one, I think. Um so the running counter, uh counter OF. And he I don't I don't know. The Bills might do it where they they read this where it's like a question poll where you know. He can kick out, but if this guy squeeze, if if this guy spills the run and takes on the inside shoulder, then he then then Croft instead of instead of leading, you know, uh, through the let's say the C gap, whatever, um, he arcs to the outside. So that's maybe why he he was reading that. That's what I would think, because as he sees him take on with the inside shoulder, he knows he has to get inside, has to get skinny through that inside gap, takes the first the first threat, which is fifty five to the running back, hands on. And then as he's pushing him upfield, another guy crosses his face, gets hands on him, gets a push on him, you know? So good block. Sorry, I didn't play, I didn't play it full through there, but um, good job of reading that, that, that kick out block and then getting inside and getting two blocks. One, two, you know, creates extra yards. And he's going to obviously get hands on now too and, and try to push around back for even more yards. So he's a guy who plays hard. I definitely like that from Croft. Uh, pancake. Okay, right here. Um, so they just run this wham. This wham, or it's a it's a trap. It's a trap. It's like a mixture of a trap and a wham. Um, a wham, you'd call it like if if he was to um, obviously block like this, and one of these guys were free. It's more of a wham block, um, but they trap they trap what ninety eight, and he just kind of fills in obviously the, the 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 run is coming right off of uh um not necessarily right off of yeah well it's 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 actually like a it's like a trap and a wham at the same time um where it's almost, it almost works like a combo they work up to 53 um regardless he whams 90 93 right here or 98 and they just they're basically following off of off of uh, Croft's ass, where they're going to kick him out, wham him, and then hopefully somebody works up to fifty three, which would be sixty um, after ninety eight's wham. Looks like they're just, they just want sixty to, to protect against any uh, quick penetration because it's a little bit of distance for him to cover. So that's what it looks like they're trying to do. Um, but it is a wham. So now in terms of the block, gets low, good leverage. Um, you'd like to see this, this probably this hand on the hip more instead of like driving through it with a tight elbow instead of kind of getting placed on the back, um, could have created even more force, but he still lowers his helmet into a guy enough where he trucks over a defensive lineman who, yeah, he's not squared up to Croft, but in terms of a good block for a tight end, he just, again, he just trucks somebody who's engaged, but still offensive linemen do it when people freak out when a tight end does it, who's 240 pounds, you know, freak out, I guess. Uh, Croft second level block. Okay, right here. Okay, obviously the QB draw. Um, he's releasing to block, uh, what, what is 43 John Johnson? So he thinks he's running a route. So good job coming up with pace. Now, once he gets up to him, good job um, getting wide and staying square, allowing him to match any inside or outside break. Uh, if anything, he should cheat to the inside shoulder because the draw is going inside. So he doesn't want to cheat to the outside shoulder. So good job taking an angle to the inside shoulder, but staying nice and square um, to him and using some lateral movement hands on and completely shuts that guy um, out of the play. Now, Allen doesn't get in for a touchdown, but in terms of Croft's block right here, uh, really good. In terms of in space, you, you like that. Yeah. Decent amount of this is going to be blocking. That's that's the, one of the main reasons he's brought in. But I, there will be some shows, or, or some shows, some plays where I show you that he's not a dud as a receiver. Um, and and the benefit with him is you know, and, and Herndon isn't the the worst blocker. 
uh, I would say better pass blocker than run blocker. Um, but with Croft, and, and it's not like Hearn, again, it's not like he's a bad blocker. So it's, it's this isn't necessarily 100% the case, but with Croft, um, you could self fake run even more than Herndon. Like, you know, if you're going to go goal line and you Herndon's in, yeah, you might get tipped off a little bit that you probably don't want Herndon in, you know, over West Coast Croft. Croft's in, he can block, obviously. So, you know, throwbacks and things like that, like they could do that with, with Croft. I think they could sneak him around a little bit more because he's going to be used more as a blocker. Um, blown coverage here by the, the Rams. Um, it looks, it looks like one of these defenders, I'm going to, you know, move over with my cursor, uh, was supposed to take Croft, but he works out on a block. And it, to me, it looks like this guy, you're going to see his eyes on Croft right here. And then as, as Croft goes to block, his eyes go inside. You see the eyes outside, inside. So he just assumes he's blocking. Exactly what we're talking about. Like you can sneak him out on some stuff. So he kind of chips and releases to the flat. Easy touchdown. But that's because, again, just what I said, you know, if, if that's, you know, whoever it is, let's say Herndon or one of those guys who's more of a receiving type guy, does that happen? Maybe not. Uh, Croft stretch, so it's going to be a stretch release right here. And then a bam step at the top, which is going to be a head fake, elbow jam the opposite way. Really hard, exaggerating step. Uh, work opposite of it. So, yeah. oh, I didn't. I didn't cut this the best, huh? Or I didn't not cut the best. I just forgot. I guess. Oh, okay, so um, we can watch it from here. So again, forty-one walks down and man coverage on him. Now, in terms of the release, you know. It's not, it's not the best, like it's, it's not even really, a, it's more, it's more like a get even than, than a stretch. Cause a stretch is, is a little bit more vertical. Um, he doesn't eat up a ton of ground. So it's not, it's again, it's not the best release against a safety sure corner, obviously not. Um, but it's a safety. So again, you kind of have to, you can't, you can't necessarily judge a route, you know, from a receiver to a tight end and equate them. And you can't necessarily judge a block from a, a tackle and a, and a, and a tight end and equate them, you know? Um, but in general, an okay release works inside. I like how he dips the shoulder past that, you know, that, past that contact window. And now he stays on top of him. Bam step. Just an exaggerated, an exaggerated outside step. It's, it's, it's not, it's, again, bam steps are usually more, um, more horizontal than this. So again, it's not the, it's not the best, but in terms of the head fake, throw this elbow back, the elbow jam, which helps yourself, your helps yourself turn. That just throws this guy off. If he's looking high, he might he might break to the outside right here. Break in on the dig. And again, relatively good break. You know, drive steps under him. Relatively tight turn. 